Hey guys, it's Rachel from The Little Ring Lamb, and today I have a book review on Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn or Jillian Flynn. I'm not sure how you say her name. Sorry if I butchered that. But this book was super good. I had mixed, like I heard mixed things about this book, but it was so good. It was like a roller coaster ride. But before I digress, um, this review is a no spoilers review. And also, if you're new to my book reviews or just need a refresher, I get my books in five different categories. Plot, characters, cover, suspense, and overall in terms of reading them very soon. 5 out of 5, not so soon, 1 out of 5. So a brief synopsis of the book would be, it centers around two characters, Nick and Amy. They're the focal point of this book. They are a married couple, and it comes up to their fifth wedding anniversary, and Amy suddenly disappears. And Nick is suddenly suspected to be the killer because he was acting a little bit shady and stuff. So we have to see, is Nick really the killer and all that? The book, it goes, it starts off, and you have a chapter, Nick, and then you have an Amy um, Amy diary, a diary entry from Amy. So you get both points of view, which I found was very good and very helpful solving the mystery. Um, this is definitely a suspenseful novel. Um, I was sitting in the living room um, of my house and I was just sitting in the chair almost all day. Like when I filmed my Baba Back to Me, I did not want to film that day. I was like, no, don't take me away from this book. I was like hooked to this. I want to know what happened. And I say this is really good. I am in favor of this book and I really want to read some more of this author's work. Um, because this was actually really, really good. And I'm really excited because the movie is coming in October and I'm pretty sure I'm going to go see it because I really, really liked this book. And I'm going to get my best friend hooked because she is, I'm going to make her borrow this because this was just so good. Um, so basically, yes, plot, I give a five to five. I really, really enjoyed the plot. It kept me hooked. Um, I was reading most that day. I filmed my Baba Back to Me and I had 250 pages I think I'd read. And I finished it, it's 415 pages. And I like pushed through it because I knew the next day I was going to be busy and I needed to needed to know what happened. The only thing I didn't, I didn't give it a 0.5 off. The only thing that really upset me was kind of the ending. I found it ended very abruptly. Um, I would have liked an extra chapter maybe tucked in there. Um, and it was kind of a confusing ending once again, the last two or three lines. Um, like what kind of happened? I don't want to say anymore because I want you guys not to be spoiled because that would be horrible. Um, characters I have a 5 to 5. These characters were very, like, you don't know who to trust. It's like in real life when you meet somebody and you talk to them and all that, but you don't know yet if you can trust them, but you get, you go through layers and, like, you learn more about the person and then you garner their trust. And I found this book was exactly like that. You had to peel off the layers of the characters to really see the truth behind what they're saying. And you have to really read and get more into the book to trust certain characters and to really see what the characters are all about. Especially the diary entries and Nick's conflicting thing. They conflict sometimes and you don't know who's telling the truth because like you don't just don't know. Cover, I give a 3.5 out of 5. The cover is the lowest score I've given for this book so far. Just because, like, I love the cover. I especially love how they have all these words um, to describe the book. And all these words are taken from reviews from the inside flaps of this book. And they're just, like, drawn out words like irresistible, terrifying, mercilessly entertaining. And that really jumped at me because I was like, all these, like, refutable sources are saying this book's good. So I really want to read it and give my chance to see what I think. I love the orangey, red-toned letters with a black conflicting background. Um... But yes, I didn't really like, I don't get what that is, that white stuff. Like I, a web of seat? I don't know. If anybody knows, it looks like hair kind of. I don't know. Okay, I have one thing. I don't know if this is hair because it looks kind of thorny, but at the same time, I just thought of this just a second. Is this like the underwater and that's supposed to be hair or something? Because I've seen the trailer. I know this is not the movie cover. Well, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. But you never know. Suspense, I give it a 5 out of 5. I absolutely love the suspense. I was reading this like crazy. Uh, I finished the bulk of it in one day. So suspenseful. Definitely good mystery. Definitely pull you out of a reading slump, I believe. Overall, a 5 out of 5. Love this book. Definitely want to read more of this author's works. I would definitely read this again. It was a roller coaster ride of like emotions. You didn't know what was happening. You didn't know who to trust. It was just so good. And yes, that has been my book review on Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.